Else is now let's bring in France 24's Angela Diffley. Angela, talk us through some of the impact of Hania's death so far. Yes, uh, not surprisingly, Hamas uh, in Gaza have reacted strongly, as you said there, and vowed retaliation, uh, said Israel will regret this. Uh, it should be said that these sort of uh, extraterritorial targeted assassinations are not, this isn't the first time it's happened. Israel is never explicit about it, but there are uh, a number of other occasions where it's thought to have gone after people uh, uh, after the event. And of course, other countries do it too, notably, you you know, uh, Osama bin Laden, uh, uh, again, was a, a targeted extraterritorial assassination uh, on the part of the US. So uh, Hamas will retaliate. We will see what that uh, looks like. Interesting to note that on the West Bank, Mahmoud Abbas, of course, the West Bank is run by Fatah. Gaza is run by Hamas. They had more or less a civil war back in 2006 and have never uh, managed to properly unite since. Uh, Mahmoud Abbas has no choice really except to say that this is awful to condemn Israel uh, because, and he has called for Palestinians to unite. And that is because increasingly on the West Bank, young people are very supportive of Hamas and more and more impatient with uh, Mahmoud Abbas's own uh, Fatah. Um, apart from uh, Gaza and uh, the West Bank, within Israel, there is uh, a mix of reactions. The families of the hostages are somewhat fearful. Uh, Ishmael Hania, although uh, the political leader of Hamas, uh, is not thought to be the most belligerent. And he was very involved in the talks over a ceasefire and a hostage for prisoners exchange. There is worry about uh, the return of the hostages now. On the other hand, there is a school of thought that uh, Benjamin Netanyahu can label this a clear win if uh, Hania has been assassinated by Israel and that might be a, a, a pretext for winding down this war somewhat. Right but there's another angle to this story and that is of course uh, Iran's reaction to all of this. Hania again killed on Iranian soil. Yeah, uh, there's been reaction around the Arab and the Muslim world mostly condemning outright uh, uh, this assassination. Egypt notably uh, saying, uh, don't let things spiral out of control. Everything depends on how Iran might react. I know you're going to discuss uh, Lebanon, which is another key player in all of this as well. Uh, it is, they have vowed, uh, they said Israel will regret this cowardly act. The Revolutionary Guards have vowed a painful attack in retaliation. Uh, Although Iran has a, a new president who took office only yesterday, uh, the real power in Iran lies with the supreme leader, Ali Khamenei. He has not changed. And, you know, Iran has a lot of problems already. There is a lot of internal dissent. The economy is in great difficulty. It's uh, not clear what will happen, but it is also uh, probable, possible, that Iran will not want to go into open confrontation with Israel and therefore the United States. It has enough problems. And in the past, when uh, very senior nuclear scientists have been killed, it is thought by Israel on Iranian soil, the retaliation has not been all out. And it's, it's uh, not clear that they would be able, they would be willing to risk so much for the Palestinian cause.